Now, because of higher energy prices, some of which are sparked by the ongoing conflict uh, between uh, whether or not Russia will invade Ukraine, there's a group of Senate Democrats in Washington facing tough re-election bids that say they want to suspend the federal gas tax. News Nation correspondent Joe Khalil joining us live from the nation's capital for a breakdown. Joe? Yeah, good morning, Adrian. We are hearing there is a, a group of small uh, Senate Democrats that now are calling for more relief for families at the pump. And the way that they want to do that is by suspending the federal gas tax, which in the immediate term would mean about 18 cents less per gallon in every state across the nation, uh, across the board. And the reason that they're uh, doing this now is twofold. One, as you mentioned, is inflation. Uh, Americans in a, basically every state are experiencing those higher prices. So this would be a little bit of breathing room for everyday families. And the second reason is still Russia. It's a very distinct possibility that there is an invasion into Ukraine. And if that happens, we know that could disrupt the global oil supply. Certainly that would be felt in Europe, but those prices and the influx of prices would definitely be felt in the United States as well. Uh, here's Arizona Senator Mark Kelly talking about this. He actually sponsored this bill. Families are struggling to afford not only gasoline, but things like, you know, groceries, uh, prescription medication. Uh, there's supply chain issues out there. Prices have gone up. So maybe not surprisingly, uh, Senator Kelly and a few other Democratic senators like Maggie Hassan, they are sponsoring this bill. One thing that they have in common is that they both have really tough reelections ahead in 2022. But this is part of a larger effort. Clearly, the Democrats are making sort of a pivot now, trying to address and really talk about the higher prices and inflation, making it a point to be discussing those things and work out solutions, uh, something that Republicans had been hammering Democrats and the Biden administration for, those higher prices and inflation uh, for months now. Adrian. All right. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.